Sometimes a picturesque sunrise or sunset is all the place needs to draw you in. And that's precisely why for this video we've stopped on Magda to enjoy the scenery. Whilst Star Citizen is often criticised for how long it's been in development, what's on offer to explore in-game in early alpha can still be worth taking a look at, and this video follows in the same spirit as other Location Spotlight videos on this channel, looking to celebrate the work put into making unique places, whilst hopefully providing you with some interesting locations that you can go out and visit in the game. I'm Farrister, and I regularly upload Star Citizen on my channel, so if you're interested in following for this kind of Star Citizen video, you might like to hit that subscribe button, so you can be notified as new videos go live. Hurston Dynamics Perlman is on Magda, one of the moons surrounding Hurston in the Stanton system. Handily, it has its own quantum jump point, so you can head right to it from orbit around Magda. The landscape on Magda is a little desolate, but also quite picturesque, with red-brown soil and mountains contrasting against the turquoise hue of the thin atmosphere. You'll need to wear a spacesuit if you're venturing outside, as that thin atmosphere isn't breathable, and temperatures can range from incredibly cold to relatively mild. In case you were interested, Magda's namesake was Magda Hurston, former CEO of Hurston Dynamics, and responsible for the initiative that purchased the planet from the UEE. The outpost itself is probably what you'd expect for a prefabricated set. There's a building for administration and control, with a few smaller rooms, but for players there's not much of interest in there. Likewise, there's a building for habitation, with the Hurston Dynamics branding shown. There's a storage building with a locker inside, and primarily this place sells agricultural supplies, as well as some minerals, and buys food in bulk. There are the two larger ship landing pads, as well as a Platinum Bay spawn terminal with two pads for tiny ships or ground vehicles. And there are the usual decorations about the place, including mining drills and storage containers. But the real reason for coming here is to admire the view. During the night, all of the stars above become visible, which make for a wonderful view, and when the sun is rising or setting, you're in for a treat, as there's a fantastic display of colour and shadow. Moreover, as one of the earlier locations introduced to the game, with very little traffic, you might even get a decent frame rate to enjoy the spectacle. Alternatively, you might find that some of the other Location Spotlight videos on this channel are also worth enjoying. If you appreciated this video, you might press that like button, and consider subscribing so you can know every time a new video goes live. If you have some suggestions for places to showcase, I'd love to hear about them in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.